What's up guys, Matsuko Films here. Welcome back to another LEGO review. Today I'll be reviewing set 40575 Year of the Rabbit. This set comes with 194 pieces. It is recommended for ages 8 and up. And this was included in a promotion a while back, which was cool. I think I got it back in January with my January sets. So that's when you could have gotten this. I'm just getting around to building and reviewing it. So with that said, let's get into it. Here we have the build itself. And then here's the back of the box. It's all in some foreign language. Not exactly sure what it says, but here you can see the rabbit. So to open this set up, it looks like you just have to cut one piece of tape. And I'm pretty sure it's not like your normal Lego set opening because when you open it, yeah. Inside you're greeted with the instruction. What even is this? Is this the instruction booklet? It's just an envelope. What? I am not sure what this is. And then you just have like three bags worth of pieces. And here's the instruction booklet and it's the new instruction booklet design. Not sure what this is. What are you supposed to do with this? I guess it's just an envelope. There's nothing in here as you guys can see. So, I am not sure what this is. It says 2023. So, if you guys know what this is, let me know down in the comments. But, with that said, let's build the setup. So, here is the Rabbit build. And overall, it's a neat little promo. It's not something that I would pay $15 or $20 for if it was just a normal set. And it's also not a promo that I'd go out of my way to get. Like, I wouldn't purchase an extra set that I wasn't planning on purchasing just to get this promo. But I think that it's a neat little promo that Lego threw into my order because I think I spent like $100 that day or something like that. I got the three sets that I wanted and then this was also included. So I was happy with that. But now let's take a closer look at this build. One thing that I wasn't expecting to come with this build was this base. As you can see here on the box art, it's really covered up by the Year of the Rabbit writing. And so when I finished building this set, I was pretty surprised that it was there, but it was a neat little addition. So we're gonna take a look at the rabbit first, and then we're gonna take a look at the base. You can simply remove the rabbit from the base just like that. It's only attached by two jumper plates. So here is the build. You can move the ears just like that, both of them. You can position them in whatever way you want. You can do that, which is fun. You have the eyes, which are really creepy. They just kind of stare into your soul. If you like look into them for very long, you're probably going to be pretty creeped out. But speaking of creepy, you can also spin the head 360 degrees. So these eyes combined with this just makes this really creepy, especially for a rabbit. You have the pink nose, which is a nice detail. You have these cheese slopes to represent some extra fur, which I think is neat. You have some more cheese slopes right here. I love the little details and techniques that they use to make this build. I think that's neat. You have some tan pieces over here. You have the tail back here, which is nice. And overall, I think this is just a neat little build. Nothing bad to say about it, especially because I just got it for free. And then here is the base. And overall, this is a neat little base. I like the gold and red accents. I think that's really cool. Obviously the main thing is green. The main base is green. The leaves are green, but I really like the gold and red accents. I think it really adds to the detail. And I think it looks good. And again, you can simply put your rabbit on there just like that and it'll be stuck there forever until someone decides to take it off, which I guess that's cool. So besides that, I have nothing else to say about this rabbit build. Anyway, guys, that is it for this review. Overall, the year of the rabbit is a really fun promo and you're probably not disappointed if you got it back in January. I'm pretty sure this came with the January wave. So. I give this set an 8 out of 10. Again, it's not something that I would buy with like $15 or $20, but it's a neat little promo. I'm happy with it. I'm probably just going to throw it onto a shelf or something like that. 
and it'll just be there. But I wouldn't say you should go out and just buy this set on eBay or wherever they're selling it. I don't think it's that good of a set. But again, if you got it with your January wave sets, then you're probably not disappointed. So with that said, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think of the Year of the Rabbit promo down in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, drop a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more LEGO reviews just like this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.